Are you an owner at Marriott's Harbor Lake or visit there regularly? Well, I'm going to tell you something that may impact your vacations there. Let's talk about it right after this. Hello, I'm Jeremy and welcome to Destination Timeshare. Before we get into the news regarding Harbor Lake, if you want to see more timeshare news, resort reviews, timeshare tips, or villa tours, please be sure to click subscribe down below and click that notification bell so you're also notified whenever I post future videos. Now let's get into the big news. On Marriott Vacations Worldwide first quarter 2019 earnings call, John Geller, Executive Vice President and Chief Financial and Administrative Officer, mentioned that they entered into a contract for the sale of land associated with the future development of about 600 units at a resort in Orlando, Florida. Let's listen to a snippet of that call right now. We entered into a contract to sell land and improvements associated with the future development of roughly 600 units at an existing resort location in Orlando, Florida for $10 million. While Mr. Geller didn't name the resort specifically, we can be pretty sure that it's Harbor Lake. Harbor Lake was originally planned to have 900 units, which would have made it as large as Grand Vista. However, they have only currently built out 312 units, leaving an additional 588 remaining to be built. Given that the number of future units planned is a little less than 600, it lines up with the statements that Mr. Geller made. To explain some of the history behind Marriott's Harbor Lake, it started out originally under Marriott Horizons brand as Horizons at Orlando. Only one other Horizons property existed, and that was in Branson, Missouri. When the Horizons brand didn't do very well, Marriott Vacation Club renamed it to Marriott's Harbor Lake in the late 2000s. The last building was built in 2009 with no future development forecast in the near future. So what does all this mean, you ask? We don't know yet who has agreed to even buy the property. Will it be another developer that will build out a large development, such as apartment homes or perhaps another hotel? Even so, while the land there is a little bit unsightly, it does of course provide a little bit of a buffer to nearby developments. Future buildings could be very close, even backing up to the pool in front of building 28, or even right beside the parking lot behind that same building. Owners at Cypress Harbor across the street have made complaints about the new development and related construction on the old Grand Pines golf course that Marriott Vacations Worldwide sold a few years ago, which surrounds Cypress Harbor. What was once wide open space without a lot of noise or development is now a large residential development with people's backyards backing right up to the resort. This is all speculation, of course, and the property does not seem like it would be best suited to residential development due to its small footprint. So it may be built out of something else, perhaps a hotel. There is also, of course, one other option that may see Harbor Lakes 588 additional units completed. Well, this was considered a future development and they're now selling the land. Perhaps they are still planning to develop the remaining units at Harbor Lake. Maybe they will enter or have entered into a similar arrangement like they did at Crystal Shores in Marco Island, where another developer came in and built and owned the units well, Marriott Vacation Club actually sold them. This provides a return on investment for the land buyer and developer, as well as allowing Marriott to sell additional inventory in their Destinations Club program with an asset light investment strategy. If there were to be another economic downturn in the near future, this strategy would keep much of the risk off the books of Marriott Vacation Club. Marriott Vacation Club has, in the recent past, been going with more of this asset light strategy with new developments. Whatever happens with the land, there is likely to be an impact on your stay with nearby construction within the next few years potentially. So I have a question for you. What do you think about the news? What do you think the plans are for that land? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll be sure to keep you updated when I find out more details regarding this land sale. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And to get notified of more timeshare videos just like this one, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and until next time, the best destination is always a timeshare.